In this video, I'm going to go over the system function in C. So the system function allows our C program to run shell commands. Let's go over an example. The first thing I'll do is include stdlib.h because this is the library where the system function is defined. To call the function, we'll say system, and then the argument will be a string. And in that string will be the command we want to run. So here I'll say ls to list the files in this directory. So I'll save this, and then we'll do a compilation of the program. After I do a compilation of the program, we're going to have two files in this directory, the source code file d.c and the executable d. If I now run the executable, we see that we get the exact same result as when we ran ls in the actual shell itself. And that's basically what's happening when we run the system function, is the shell is going to momentarily take over and run this command. And then control is going to be transferred back to our program after it's done. So we could do all kinds of things with the system function. We could create files, we could move files around, create directories, whatever we want really. So let's do one more example here. I'll say system, and here I'll say echo, and I'll say some content, and we'll put it into a file called test.txt. Then I'll run another command that's going to actually output that file content. So we'll say cat test.txt. So we'll save this. We'll do a compilation. And then we'll run this. And we get some content output here. And if you notice, we now have a file called test.txt here. And if I do cat test.txt here, we'll get the same thing, some content. So I can really manipulate my file system now. I can run programs. I can do whatever I want to do. So if system can't run the command, because let's say the command itself is bad, it doesn't exist, like say ABC, that's not a real command. System will return a non-zero value in that case. So we could test that out. Here I'll say if system ABC doesn't equal zero, then we'll output error executing command. And we'll just throw some new lines around that as well. And let's try running this now. So here I'll say clear. We'll do a recompilation. And then we'll run it. And we get error executing command. And what's gone on is that system has recognized that there was an error here, that the ABC command couldn't run. So we could use this to detect whether the command ran successfully or not. So this is how we could use the system function in C to run shell commands. Now we do have to be careful though because shell commands are not the same on all systems. A shell command on Linux won't necessarily work on a Windows machine. So that's going to be a problem if we want our program to be portable. So using the system function should be avoided if we want our program to be portable. It's going to be more useful in situations where we know that our program is going to run on a particular type of system. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.